A world free from nuclear weapons is both necessary and possible to achieve collective security, Pope Francis told the first meeting of states' parties to the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons gathered in Vienna. The Pope's message was read to the participants in the conference via video message by the Vatican's foreign minister, Archbishop Paul Richard Gallagher. Here I wish to reaffirm that the use of nuclear weapons, as well as their mere possession, is immoral. Trying to defend and ensure stability and peace through a false sense of security and a balance of terror sustained by a mentality of fear and mistrust inevitably ends up poisoning relationships between peoples and obstructing any possible form of real dialogue. The treaty aims to create a world free of nuclear weapons with all ratifying countries stating to never test, produce or possess nuclear weapons. Five years ago, Pope Francis addressed the diplomatic conference that negotiated the treaty, which went into effect this January. Yet he says that now its mission is more important than ever. At this particular moment in history, where the world seems to be at a crossroads, the courageous vision of this legal instrument, strongly inspired by ethical and moral arguments, appears ever more timely. To date, 65 countries have signed on to the treaty, yet no nuclear armed country has done so most notably Russia, the United States, China, Great Britain, and France. Six. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.